drive up and take a look at the public carburetor. 1978 International Post, but I we'll just have to see if the weather will be good enough for uh, that dust blowing over there. Now this is going to be a test of how the bus starts up after a couple of days of just sitting. I think the cat might want to go for a ride too. Okay. Well, there's a GMC 366 for you. Starts up instantly. Now approaching the International. Looks like the weed growth is pretty thick around here. I'm going to go ahead and stop right about here. Looks like we're on an incline. I kind of don't want to leave it, leave it on on there. We'll get it pulled up a little bit further here. Need to get the tractor back here and mow some of these weeds. Okay, we're now at the International Bus. Don't think I've caught any video of this one with the good camera. Got the fuel hose all, all ready to hook up to the gas tank. I hooked that up to the uh, fuel pump. Let's take a look inside here. Okay, here's the Holly carburetor. I'm going to remove the Holly and I'm going to try and see if I can get a uh, fuel uh, float bowl gasket off of the other Holly carburetor. I've got one on one of the other buses. I put new gaskets on, but I never could get it to work quite right. So for the time being, I may just see if I can exchange some of the parts. Get those new gaskets on this carburetor. Let's take a look inside of the bus here. Nineteen seventy eight International Lodestar. It's got air brakes and automatic transmission. Don't lose your riding privilege. Follow these rules. Moving the Holly is really not going to be too difficult. We've just got a uh, vacuum tube for the governor and just four bolts that hold it down to the intake manifold. Here's the accelerator pedal linkage. I'll just disconnect that. Disconnect the fuel line and I disconnected the spring. So now we're all ready to begin disassembly of the holly off of the 345. I've now got the holly removed. Here's the intake manifold. It's a two barrel intake. And here's something, I don't know what this was for, but there's a hole here in a vacuum line. It looks like we're getting a pretty big vacuum leak into the intake manifold because that hose wasn't hooked up. I don't know what this thing is, if this is an EGR valve or what. Looks like it may go to a, I don't know, maybe a coolant temperature sensor that activates a vacuum line. This bus never ran very good. It ran, but just barely. So every time I, I work on these things, I gain some more knowledge into getting them running better. So I'll try and get that vacuum leak repaired. I'm gonna plug up these intake manifold holes with some plastic bags so junk doesn't get down in there. Here's the Holly carburetor as removed from the bus. it all cleaned up and uh, I'm take the float bowl off of there and see if we can't replace the gaskets. Ideally I'd like to go ahead and get a 
a rebuild kit for this. Or if I can't find one, I may be able to salvage gaskets from that other holly that never worked quite right. This bus is all started up and ready to drive back to the house. Our next stop will be the 1970 International. This is a little difficult to steer with one hand, but <laughs> we'll just take a look at this. This one will be the next next one that needs needs repair. Here's the 1970 International. And this tire is going flat some more. I'm hoping to at least get this engine started up. The hood's kind of messed up. Looks like there's junk from a rat in there that will need to get cleaned out. This one will well, this one will drive again. May need to get someone out here to replace the tire over here. Now we'll just go ahead and continue on back up to the house. <laughs> 